Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve question number 8 of exercise 13.1 and the question says from a solid cylinder whose height is 2.4 cm and diameter 1.4 cm a conical cavity of the same height and same diameter is hollowed out you have to find the total surface area of the remaining solid to the nearest centimeter square now it is given that from a solid cylinder this is the cylinder and from this cylinder a conical cavity of same height and same diameter is taken out so this has been taken out you have to find the total surface area of this remaining solid and where the height of this uh, cylinder is given to you as 2.4 cm this is given to you as 4 points and the diameter is given to you as 1.4 cm so the diameter is 1.4 cm now you have to find the total surface area of this remaining solid now if you have to find the total surface area of this solid that will be the surface which is visible to you you have to find the area of that surface which is visible to you in this remaining solid so obviously uh, this curved surface area of this cylinder will be visible to you plus the area of base will be visible to you the base will be visible to you and if you see from the top a conical cavity will be seen inside this cylinder so the surface area or you can say the surface area of this cone will also be visible to you if you see from the top so these three surfaces are visible to me so if we have, if i have to so find out the total surface area of this i have to add all three surfaces to find out the total surface area of this remaining solid now if you want to find the total surface area of solid that will be the curved surface area of cylinder which is this curved one and plus the area of base plus area of base of the cylinder plus now if you see from the top this surface area of this cone will be visible to me so the curved surface area of the cylinder one thing is again important if you visualize this you will see that obviously this will be the formula and this surface won't be visible to me because this surface has been taken out so this surface won't visible to me this will be hollow here so now I have to find the curved surface area of the cylinder which is 2 pi rh the area of the base for the cylinder will be pi r square because the base will be of will be circular and the curved surface area of the cylinder uh, sorry this will be cone curved surface area of the cone and that will be pi r l and before solving this what we can do is we can take pi r as common so from here if pi r is taken out 2 h will remain from here only 1 r will remain and here h l will remain now radius is given to me if the diameter is 14 centimeter radius will be half of this which is 0.7 meters centimeters height is again given to me is 2.4 centimeters i have to find l which is the slant height for this cone for that i'll use pythagoras theorem this will be a right circular cone and this will be a right angle triangle where the side and opposite to this which is the hypotenuse i have to find out and this will be the perpendicular and this will be the base and base will be same as the radius of this cylinder so this will be 0.7 centimeter half of the diameter and this perpendicular will be same as the height of this cylinder which is 2.4 centimeter <clears throat> now i have to find the l using pythagoras the l square will be equals to the height square 
plus radius square. L is here is hypotenuse, H here is perpendicular and R here is base. And I have to find the L square. Height here is 2.4 centimeter square and radius here is 0.7 square. This is uh, 576 and this is 49. So the L square will be 625. If you add this, this will be 625 and the value of L will be under root 6.25 and the value of L will be 2.5. So the L, the value of L will be 2.5 centimeters. This, uh, I hope you can solve this easily. Now if I substitute the values, the value of pi is 22 upon 7. Radius here is 0 0.7, that can be written as 7 by 10. I remove the decimal and I place 10 in the denominator. 2 is multiplied by height which is 2.4 plus radius is again 0 0.7 and L is 2.5. Now this can be cancelled and this will be 22 upon 10 multiplied by. This is 4.8, this is 0 0.7 and this is 2.5. Five. Now, if I solve this further, this 22 upon 10 will remain as it is. I can add this. So, 8 plus 5 is 13, plus 7 is 20, 2 uh, carry, and 4 plus 2 is 6, and 2 was 8. So, this will be equal to 22 into 8. 176 upon 10 and that will be equal to 17.6 centimeter square because this is the area and you have to find in the nearest centimeter square so 17.6 can be written as 18 centimeter square so this will be the answer for this particular question so this is how you can solve this eighth question i hope you have understood how to solve this question if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and if you have any problem in maths, you can directly contact to us. The phone number, the email address and the WhatsApp number is given below in the description. Thank you.